Okay, Jeremy here, Jeeps Unlimited, 303-666-9020. You're seeing the bottom of an 87 and 95 Jeep Wrangler first. I will lower it and show you the top side here in just a second. Uh, but it's a little easier if we do it this side. And uh, as I was pulling it out here, working it out here, I tipped it down and got mud on it after I just washed it. So that was frustrating. But nonetheless, it's like a very, very clean top. This would be a great A. These all came out from the West Coast a few weeks ago. We brought them back. There's absolutely no rot, rust, or anything on this thing whatsoever. Uh, areas that you are going to really need to look at. Uh, that's your first frame mount. Going up towards your firewall. Second one is right there. Nice clean threads as you can see. And then so on and so on. There's the next one. This is the ones, these two here. Go above your uh, gas tank. And then you have your corners. So it's right there. Okay. A little breezy, so hopefully you hear me okay. Uh, and then the corners there. $97.95. You will see on a, uh, I've been doing this a long time. You can, see, you can use these on a CJ7 fairly easily. There's a couple modifications you have to do. Uh, wheel well here, nice clean. This area through here, that's usually where you start seeing the rust start. That's the area's look. You can see it sometimes on the seams there. Again, this one's nice and clean. We're out in the country, so our internet doesn't work very good. So Make this video about four minutes long. And, uh, hopefully, it's not going to take till next week. How far? Get it lower down and show you the top side. Where he was anyway. All right. So firewall again, nice, clean, straight. <clears throat> we don't buy rec jeeps. That's one of the big differences that my yard is versus a lot of other yards out there. Uh, there's absolutely no damage as far as, uh, you know, being in a fender bender or whatnot. We buy them running and driving off the road <coughs> and go from there. Uh, let's see here. Floorboards, obviously, that's a very important part as well. At least uh, they're easy enough to replace, but if you don't have to, you don't have to. Nice clean holes where the roll bar went. Um, nothing broken off there. These are all these areas I tell people to make sure before they install the roll bar because they can they do trap pressure this one does have a broken bolt so you'll have to extract that one there see so right there one of the guys probably got lazy and uh cut that one versus just drilling them out there's another one there so pretty good head on them you should, should, should be able to get those out with a left hand drill bit and uh go from there there's a couple of them actually in this tub so we'll discount them a little bit um these are for seat brackets. Somebody really got lazy and pulled those guys. So, which is kind of a bummer. That was before we got this thing. Um, we did a big buyout of another yard. 